Hello everybody, Shadow Dragon here and welcome back to another episode of How To. Today we're going to be exploring these things right here. Now as I said in either my previous or my uh, survival series, I said I would be exploring boats. So here we go. So the sinking ship is a mechanical again. Now if you put a boat over um, magma blocks in uh, water streams like this, they have to be full blocks so it doesn't work. I believe in survival it will break the boat. Anyway, moving on, you've got the self-defense. So if you're getting attacked and you have nothing on you but wood, obviously you can place down a boat and it will trap any mobs that are coming towards you. Really useful for survival early game. Next is also really useful for survival early game. Uh, now you'll know that if you fall off something really high, you'll die in survival. So now if we just go into survival and ride this boat off here, completely fine. I know it's weird, right? It doesn't make any sense, but it works. Uh, next one, transportation. Now this is very handy for transporting uh, mobs and other things, and I believe in 1.19 they are actually going to add chest boats. You can also do this with two players, because it is a two passenger thing. Um, it's useful if you're playing a multiplayer world. Um, yeah, but as you can see, uh, you can do cows, sheep, any mob you want, uh, even hostile mobs, although you will take damage. Um, next, villagers. This is really useful if you're transporting villagers. There are other ways that I'll mention later in the series, uh, but this is one of them. So you can attach leads to the boats that they're in. You can put multiple villagers in a boat, so obviously two, and then you can carry four. Uh, you can make them go to your villager breeder or farmers or anything and then put them into minecarts. Next is the fact that boats are actually solid blocks. Um, and that basically means that although here it looks like they are inside of each other, what it means is they can actually kill you in survival if you do this with dispensers. It also creates an insane amount of lag, which is incredibly annoying. Another thing, if you do it like this, they do actually stack, and I believe this is how they made the bottom pole in Hermitcraft. Now this can also give some unique uh, designs and patterns, uh, make sort of like a centipede or a totem pole, I guess. Um, Next is elevation. This can be done with minecarts as well. Um, but all you need to do is just hold down left click and you uh, just keep going up. Now for some reason, this boat keeps falling down. I'm not entirely sure why, but none of the others do. So if you'd let me know that why that is, then uh, leave a thing down below in the comments. I do also now have a Discord, um, so check that out. It's on the uh, link in the channel. Next is ultimate speed. Now, with ice and boat, you go super fast, and this is really helpful for fast travel. Um, I think the fastest you go is with blue ice, um, and I think if you put buttons on it, it would be even faster. Obviously, blocks on the side even faster as well. Uh, and on water, you're actually faster in a boat than you are um, when you're swimming, uh, holding down... Um, Sprint when you're sprinting in water, basically, when you're doing uh, front crawl, when you're swimming in water, you're actually faster in a boat. Um, so it helps with travel across water, obviously. Uh, last quick thing before we move on to the extras is uh, trading. So you can actually trade boats with uh, master fishermen. Uh, it depends, it doesn't. Is you can trade, as you can see here, we've got a variety of boats, and you can trade anyone with the villagers. Obviously, um, there is crimson and warp boats as well, I think so anyway. And um, now I'm just going to show you how to craft a boat. So, what you need is obviously a crafting table, and then you need just to grab yourself a shovel. Uh, just like that, and then you also need to grab yourself a bit of wood. I would advise at least a stack, and then what you need to do is place the crafting table down and into the crafting table uh, grid. You need to go and place your shovel right in the centre, just like that. 
and then uh, all around the bottom and the sides you need to place wood. Now in Java I believe you don't actually need a shovel to make a boat, which I find a bit weird because where does the um, ore come from? Um, and actually, actually um, in all versions you didn't actually originally need an ore uh, for the boat, it just went. Um, which I found a bit strange, but anyway, um, that's some tips about boats, like I said, I've got Discord, also don't forget to like and subscribe, also leave a comment on what you might like to see next for the series, I hope this was uh, really helpful uh, for anyone that needs to use a boat in the world, um, I hope this has given you some perspective on what boats can do, and if there's any other items you want me to do um, tips and tricks on like I have done here with the boats, then please do let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time. Goodbye.